Okay, I'm back. Now I'm back with the haul of, I'm going to combine this all into one haul. This is consignment stuff, thrift store stuff, and flea market stuff. So it's, it's going to be just kind of mixed all together. And I might have to do this in two parts because there's kind of, kind of a lot of it. Okay. So, I guess I'll start with this. This I got at a thrift store. This was $1.50. Okay, now the difference to me, thrift store and consignment store and flea market are pretty much all the same. We're talking all used secondhand stuff, garage sale type stuff. It's all used. Um, the, the big difference though is, like let's say this for instance, this right here, this little plate that I took the wall hanger on because I had it hanging on the wall, but I took it down so I could show you. Something like this for instance in a, a flea market, like antique store slash flea market, would probably cost anywhere from like let's say six dollars to twelve dollars and up but because I got this at a thrift store this was only one dollar and it's not perfect you can see like right here you may or may not be able to see there's a little chip here but I really could care less it's just for decoration and for a buck I can deal with the little chip I mean even with the chip in it they sell it at the antique slash flea markets for way more than a dollar. So that's your that's going to be your biggest difference is um, at the antique store. You know when people because there's like booths in these like flea markets, and you know they have to make their money on on this stuff. They're buying it and marking it up so that they can make a profit because they have a, a space rent that's usually like let's say $50 to on up to 100 to 150 depending on where they're at and how big their booth is so I understand they've got to make a profit but for me I like to hit the hit up the thrift stores first because that's where I'm going to get my best deals they would at the flea markets they're going to get a plate like this and mark it way up where I can go to the thrift store and pick it up for a buck so that's going to be your biggest difference your best deals are going to be at your thrift stores Okay, so that's the thrift store piece. This right here would have been way more than a dollar fifty at the, the um, antique store. Not that it's even really an antique, but it still kind of fits into that category, so they can still sell it there and they still mark it way up. And this also is from a thrift store, and I think it was I think this was fifty cents for this little saucer. Because what I'm wanting to do is I want to collect mismatched teacups and saucers I want to set for my table. So I'm going to need a set of four. I want everything mismatched. Mismatched cups and mismatched saucers. Just, I don't know, I want to do something different. And, yeah. Okay. The second piece I got, this is from also from the same thrift store. I already showed you that. Oh, you did? Yeah. This is also from a thrift store. I thought it was really cute. I like the... Um, the edges. I like the gold. On some parts, it's just kind of a little bit worn just from over time. But um, I think that adds character. I like the lady. She's sitting side saddle on the horse. I thought that was really pretty. And it was only 50 cents. And I got this. This was a dollar. I don't really care for this plate. The plate's super cute, but it's just not my style. It's more of a, like country country. I mainly, and this was only a dollar for this little heart rack, I bought it for the rack. The plate, I'm going to either take it back to the thrift store and just drop it off so they can resell it, or if my sister-in-law likes it, which she probably will, I'll just give it to her. I should sell it to her for a dollar fifty. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But she, I think she'll like it, so I'll just give it to her. So I already knew when I bought this that I just wanted this. So I wanted this for this right here. Let's fall. Uh, 
Have it turned right. It doesn't matter. I'm going to hang it up on the wall just like that. And so this was a dollar fifty. At an antique store, it would have been a whole lot more than that. So that's why I hit up the thrift stores first. Okay. So I'll move this along. Oh, I think it's okay. Oh my goodness, I forgot to put it outside. Okay. And this, I wanted a little vase for, I've got my, um, I've got tons of these ferns outside and a few roses left, and I didn't have a vase. Well, I don't want to go and spend two, three dollars on a vase or however much it would have been. They had this there at the thrift store for 50 cents. So I picked this up also so I can have my little flowers. And this also, this was $2. I thought it was really cute. So, it's weird, it's got a price for a dollar and a price for $2. So I think someone tried to sell this at a yard sale for a dollar, but then the thrift store marked it up to $2. But I think it was worth that, it's cute. It's got the little bees and stuff on it. So, there's that. And here's something that I got. Actually, the other day, what I like to do is I like to go through the flea markets because there's so much in there. So what I do is the day before I buy, I'll go in there and I'll scan the whole place, see what booths are having a sale, like 50% off, 20% off, or whatever. Just kind of, you know, take mental notes, you know, what's on sale, what booths are on sale, what I like, and then I'll go back the next day and I'll go through and, and buy everything that I want. Um, this was one of the items that I went back for, this tidbit tray. It's um, probably just a really cheap cheap tidbit tray originally. It's not an antique. Um, this was $7.99 was their price. This booth was having a 50% off, so I got it for four bucks. So I thought for four bucks, that's a killer deal. Um, I like stuff a little bit more aged than this, but for the price, I just could not pass that up. So I got that at a flea market, and and that, I think that was the only thing I bought at that one particular booth. There was another booth at the flea market that had a 50% off, and they had this picture. I pulled the tag off of it. I believe it was ten dollars. It's really pretty. You're probably not going to be able to see the colors real, real well, but it's got, it's just got some really pretty colors. The frame's really nice, and it's got um whatever you call these things in here. It's got the devil, whatever this is. And this was ten dollars, and I got it for five dollars. So I thought that would be really cute in here, kind of go with the theme that I'm kind of trying to get going. And Oh, this was from a consignment store. It was they were having a 70, 75, 75 percent off rack, and I believe I bought this for like a buck. It is a candle holder. Somebody put a flower up on here, so I could take that off and put a candle if I wanted to. But I thought that was cute, and so I picked that up for a dollar on their seventy-five percent off rack. And also, oh, this was from a thrift store. And I believe this was either like 50 cents or a dollar. And I thought this would be cute in here, kind of go with the Victorian kind of theme I have going on in here slightly. Um, so I got that, but that was really cute and really cheap. And the pictures, like the picture there, this Victorian one, I got that at the thrift store. That was $3. And these pictures here with the animals, I got those at a consignment store. Those were a little bit more pricey. Um, I believe that they they are like brand new, um, but kind of made to look old. I got those for ten dollars each, so I paid twenty bucks for those. I just I really liked them. I liked the um, antique feel that they had. I thought it would bring a, a nice like warmness to the room, and then kind of match the table too because the table's dark. So I got those. Also, that lamp in the background I got at a consignment store, the same consignment store that I got the pictures from. It didn't originally have the bow. I added the bow myself. It was such a plain lamp. I, wa I wanted to add something to it. I was going to try stamping it with some like vintage kind of um, steampunk type stamps, but I wasn't sure 
how well it would stamp and I didn't want to ruin the um, lampshade so I just put a bow and called it good enough and this okay I'm going to have to pick this chair up so that you can see it. I got this chair at a consignment store and this chair that I'm going to show you kind of has like a shabby chic type feel um, somebody painted it white it was probably originally like a brown and I got it for $15.99 actually it was $15.99 and I got it for 40% off so I'll kind of try to lift it up and show you I love the legs the legs on it are so cute but it has this missing part here almost looks like a, a toilet um, I'm gonna have my husband put some wood here and just to kind of cover it up so that it can be usable because it, it is good and sturdy but meanwhile I got this right here from the flea market I don't know if you can see the price but it was three dollars I like the, the tapestry that it has on it so I just put that like that and then that's good enough for right now until it can get fixed I may add some, buy some material, like kind of like what I have for my curtains, and just uh, once he makes that cover plate for the seat, then I can add some cushion and then maybe um, staple gun some material on there. Um, I'm gonna have to get it to show you this other stuff. Okay, I got this little music box. I thought that was so cute. And it says, if I only have nine lives, let me spin them all with you. And it does work. I forgot what I paid for this. But I got it at the consignment store. And it was probably just a, a few dollars. I thought that was so cute with the little kitties all sleeping. Okay, so that's going to be noisy now. <laughs> and then, at the consignment store, they have these little hankies. These really pretty handkerchiefs and they're like brand new I don't know how old they are if they're I don't think they're antique 100% cotton and there was there's there's a bunch of them a bunch of different colors and I really love that I'm I'm a fanatic about these scalloped edges I love I love stuff with scalloped edges and I just love the patterns on these so I thought well I'm sure I can do all kinds of stuff with this so and and it was on sale for 40% off and the package was like $5.99 I don't know how much these are brand new I've never seen them um, probably could pick them up on eBay but I got it 40% off of the $5.99 those and I just have this in here just kind of like that that looks cute and what oh those two <coughs> This was on the 75% off rack at the consignment store. I've been wanting some lights, some kind of decorative lights for my front porch. I'm going to have to do another video. And um, these were on the 75% off rack. They're, they're kind of fall looking because they have the leaves. But for a dollar, I could not pass it up. And they do work. So that was a killer deal on those. And I have a few more things I want to show you. I'm almost done but I'll put it in the next video. Thanks, guys.